Joy 94.9, Murphy's Law this morning. And Anna Murphy, remember last year when I cut off my fox out? Yes. Got to get it back on again yes. because we had two of the hottest actors at the moment in the country from a place to call home. Welcome, guys. We've got Jenny ba Baird and Brett Climo. I was going to say, got it right. I got it right. 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 See, I'm so used to the character names. Yes. Uh, yes. George and Regina. Yeah. That, um, yeah. Oh, well. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Great to be here. Can thank I just you. say, what a fabulous, what a fabulous show it is. And thank God it's back on our screens. Oh, good for us too. Mm. You guys must feel very grateful now, oh. considering at the end of, or oh, halfway through the last year, looking at not con well, continuing on with this story. Well, the cancellation was hard for us, or for me, I have to say. Disappointing for everybody. Yeah. I was pretty, I was fairly devastated. And uh, I suppose we, we we should have had an inkling something was going to happen because as we're coming to the end of season two, we've got our final script for the season, and then we're told we're asked, would you mind filming these alternative scenes? To Andy. Mm -hmm. and we, I, I remember Jenny saying, "Oh, I, I don't feel good about this," and I said, "No, no, no. Look, they're just they're just covering all bases. They're just it's yeah. fine. We're popular. It's going to be okay." Well, I just always make the wrong call. <laughs> the thing that it is, it was such it was so devastating to a lot of people because it's so it's just such quality it's just such a quality show and the, the writing's amazing, the and it's so different. If you look at what's on TV at the moment with all the reality so TV different. stuff, it just everyone I know right across the board was like, This is so refreshing to have. Mm -hmm. So I think it hit people really hard in the regards of like they just become really in tune with the characters and like I, I know oh, James. Oh, oh, James. Hot to trot. Hot to trot. James. <laughs> and I thought, at the end of it, I was like... <laughs> Brett, you're my favourite, oh. so... Oh, thanks, guys. So, and Jenny, well, I love you. everyone loves to hate no, me. Do you know what? I was just about to say, please don't take this the wrong way, but I hate Regina. Oh, yeah. That must be a compliment, though. Everybody hates Regina. But as an actress, isn't that what you want? Oh, no, it is. It's yeah. great. Yeah. She's yeah. horrible. Oh, is, yeah. that, is that the most bitchy sort of character that you've played? Yes. Yeah. Because she normally played lovely... Yeah, you know. and what's really even more fascinating is that Bevan Lee created this show and he also created All Saints, which I was on the oh, right, yeah, yeah. And the character I played on All Saints was the sweetest, she was. most innocent He's got it in for you. And no, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> believe that Bevan what? gave me a shot so, and I was like, where, where in Paul and Morgan did you see Regina? So which is the hardest where? one for you to play? The, the nice character? The or nice character's really? a lot harder. Really? She's a lot of fun. Oh, she's, she's, <laughs> she's so gorgeous. Oh, like, and, but Nani was the same. Uh, you know, uh, Elizabeth's character's the same. Yeah. Like at times, you've just been we've been nearly really throwing things at the television. Oh, yeah. um, but she's gorgeous. Like you can't not love her, even though she doesn't tell well, her. Her characters are perhaps a little bit um, nicer. The yin yang. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Regina's just yeah. Yeah. horrible. <laughs> just, the sheer, just the sheer fact that Nani was not going to be on TV. Again, oh. was like, well, not again, but I mean, that show was yeah, devastating show. because. Uh, and I was devastated because when we were cancelled, Bevan and I had a conversation. He went, Oh, I had such things in store for Regina. Yeah. And I went, yeah. Oh, and he told me. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> Oh, but this is just will. oh when it, when it finished it was announced and we were <laughs> we were all angry about that anyway and then the final episode oh well it just felt like it, was, ended, it, was, it was just, just like oh let's just get rid of it well they were the that's what they're like that's what happened yeah, so, yeah and no one took them seriously yeah. I remember the last scene for, for for George and the director said oh look we've got about two and a half minutes to shoot this but don't worry about it too much they won't use it anyway I mean we were under this impression oh, wow. that we were just doing them. And that's what it felt like. And now yeah. it brings me to the final episode of season two, which we which watched last Sunday night. Oh, I didn't see. Oh, yeah. oh, oh so that. spoiler what? alert. What? Oh, I'll you're going to have to. I'll get it. I'll watch I... it. I'll get to see it. I'll have to watch it because I need to know what's, gonna... what's coming up. What's coming up, exactly. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm going to ruin it. Um, but we don't <laughs> know who it is. Somebody's put George in danger, but we don't know who. Who's put my it, George in danger? <laughs> exactly. Well, it could have been Renee or it could have been Regina who's sitting at the Why would right. Regina do that? Why well, because she's, 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 she's in love, love with him. She's infatuated Deeply with him. Deeply in love with him. Deeply. Um, we actually had Peter, the guy who set up the... Peter Vernon. Yeah. yeah. And he was... A, he was so, isn't it amazing to have someone who... Because he wasn't really connected with the show at all, was he? No, no. Just no, someone no. who went out of their way to actually... Do, do you sort of attribute a lot of these, uh, the show coming back to the fact of... You know, Absolutely. Peter went out of his way to do that? Absolutely. Well, that group has around 5,000. I'm a member. You remember? Yeah. Oh. And that's how I contacted him through Facebook and said, can we get you on the show? This is amazing. I'm just so, I've been, I had been watching the whole progress. Because I just loved it. Like, I, I came to it late, actually. I didn't see it when it was on television the first season. Sorry, guys. 
Uh, somebody introduced me to it over on DVD and I was obsessed. And yeah. then I was like, oh, no, what are you doing? You can't take this off. So they'll join the group and all that sort of. And then he came on and just passionate people. Yeah. Definitely. And that, yeah. that 5,000 number, I mean, that's just representative of a much greater audience. And I think that's what Brian Walsh and Foxtel mm. saw. I mean, here's a ready-made audience wanting something desperately. And I think what a skillful move. From Brian's point, I mean, a great PR exercise as well. Totally. And, and since we've stu you know started with Fox, they've embraced the Save a Place to Call Home group. Mm. You know, they've been extras on our show. Oh, uh, we great. had a huge uh, picnic down at Camden where we where the house is Camelot down there, Ash Park. Yeah, they hosted and, everybody at, the, at Camelot. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were two thousand people. You know, no, the other no, day down there. Did I read something that it's now gone overseas? Yes, it's in it's America. It, wow. And it's in Europe and England. That love and it. because of Marta, we have all these Dutch fans oh, wow. on Twitter. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. That's great. And yeah. Israel as well. And so they've obviously started, that, these countries are all starting season one now? Is that right? Or are or they? they I, they're through season one. I think right. they might be starting season two. Wow, that's incredible. Well done. That's, it's that's just so such an achievement. It's such a great story oh, that, you, that, you. that, that it, we almost didn't have it. Now we've got it back and I'm so excited to see more. Rick, you actually, I have to make mention too, because you've been, you've starred in so much, like uh, Australian TV. Everything. Flying Doctors, <laughs> Embassy, Blue Healers, <laughs> um, Pacific Drive, <laughs> Snow River, Water Rats, Stingers, the whole lot. But you know, the thing that it is, do did you, how attached to this one were you? And when it ended with, like you've seen other shows come and go, does, did it really mean something to you? Yeah, it did, it did. Because I honestly thought I wouldn't, and I'm, I'm, it sounds like a line, but it's the truth. I, I felt as though I wouldn't ever have this opportunity again. I, I, it goes back to when I first read the script. Yep. It didn't read like Australian television. It was enormous. The scope of the show was enormous, and I, did, I had no idea how a team could actually get what I'm reading on the page onto the screen. Apart from the fact that every other actor in the country, I'm sure, wanted the role. Yeah. It was, it's a dream role. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, it's it's a lot but you played so well. But I, I read it and I thought, you know, it's nice to read something for a change where you think you can do it. You know what I mean? And, and this is a challenge, but it, it fits. I, I love playing the, the character. And no, my, my first fear was that I would never find something like this again. But also, importantly, I thought it sent the wrong message to the industry. What it said was, if you aim that high, and let's face it, the show is of such a high standard visually. Yeah. Mm. It sits beautifully yeah, with amazing. European drama and with American drama. Yeah. It's, it's, it's high-end stuff. Yeah. If you aim that high, there's no return on it. And what, yes. that's what I love about this decision with Foxtel. It's saying, you know what? Keep aiming that high. Mm. Yes. Because there is a return. Yeah, we, 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 absolutely. And it's inspiring that, for other production companies. Yeah. Absolutely. There's, there's little on television for us to be inspired by or for kids to grow up and be creative. Everything's yeah. reality but television. The problem, and the problem is with them cutting costs, as they try to do, they're actually costing themselves money because people are tuning off. That's right. And, and going to the Fox Tales and going to the Netflix and all that kind of stuff. So. Do you, I mean, you obviously all loved it before that decision was made. Do you feel like you love it even more now like you've got a second chance with, with this story? Do you feel closer? Well, I personally, I've in season three, Regina's in every episode, whereas in season one and two, she came in at the end and wrecked everyone's lives. So <laughs> Just now I get to wreck everyone's kind of lives like yeah, every week. One. So, yeah, I, <laughs> you love it I have more of an interest, definitely, because I'm just much more involved okay. now. Yeah. And uh, I think we all feel that it's we're working on a show that has been resurrected. So it, it, it sort of gives you this confidence that yeah. you're working on something that you know people like, and that it allows you to sort of take risks yes. yeah, with okay. the production. And, and this time around, being with Foxtel, they wanted something because if you look at the the marketplace out there with other, you know, with foreign drama, it's edgier drama, you yeah. know. And so they've 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 sort of made it not only story wise slightly edgy, but even uh, visually, it's mm. just got a slightly different edge to it. It's yeah. spectacular um, to look at. Yeah, well, I think it's even heightened. Okay, great. Season. And um, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on the radio, but my like character like. smokes now. Oh. Of course. Of course, course she does. Really great spirit holders. <laughs> 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 this is the most important bit. <laughs> I'm like, I think Regina needs a cigarette. I Jenny, think she does too. <laughs> Jenny, you, you did some, you did quite a bit of stuff over in the States, yeah? yeah. From 2000, around 2004? Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. How did you, how do you find Australian production and, and crews and whatever compared to the States? That must be really cutthroat over there in comparison to here. Well, in terms of auditions, yes, way more cutthroat, but yeah. in terms of there is a difference between American and Australian crews, actually, in terms of protocol. Quite a strong difference. In America, it's very demarcated, and the 
crew and the actors do remain quite separated, whereas in Australia it's yeah, together. Totally together. Yeah. Fluid. I mean, yeah. you know, I handle my props a lot yeah. more. Than <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any plans to venture out back there? Well, I'm back. going next week. Right. Auditions? Mm, Never know. Husband. Yeah, husband yeah my husband's it. over oh, there and God. he's desperately so waiting for us. Kill off Regina. Oh, no, no. no. can't do that. No, no, not yet. <laughs> no, no. Spoilers yeah. everywhere. We're no. going to edit that. But do you still have, as, a, as an actress, do you still have like. Um, I have a, a manager a, over there still. Yeah, and, and great ambition to do more movies over there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think actors are just go with the flow, aren't they? They'll yeah. go where the work is. Yeah. They're whorish like that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. well, you've hauled onto a great one. Oh, yeah. Home. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just, I feel yeah. like this thing's going to be around for a lot of years. I, I, feel, I, I just feel it's got that quality of that crosses all the demographics, you know, it like does. Your, your, our age, younger ones, everyone's sort of latching onto it, it's fantastic. What's beautiful, I think, is that people who were, uh, you know, growing up in the 50s watch the show and get to go back in time, I think there's something very beautiful about that. Yeah. A little bit like Puberty Blues for somebody like me, yeah. watching that, I grew up in the 70s, and, you know, I think there's a lot of nostalgic appeal. Can I just say, I lived in, I just lived down the road in Fitzroy, yeah. and Fitzroy is one of those areas, as you probably know, no one ever comes up to you in Fitzroy to say, oh, I'm going to run them. This is the only show that I, sitting in Mario's, where people will actually come up and say, we are so devastated. This show's taken. Don't That's tell anyone we've said this, because we don't know. We don't know. We watch the television. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, we're devastated. You know, oh. it's, I, I think that says something that downtown Fitzroy, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. It's well, really I hear. Season four is starting commencing filming in February. Is this correct? Are we allowed to see to everybody at home? Rest assured, uh, a place to call home is not going very far. No, it's great. At the moment, now, listen, away from us. This Sunday coming up, you've got a 7.30 special event, an audience with the cast of A Place to Call Home. Is that right? Yeah. Is that already, is that already yes. you've already recorded that? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's a bit like the format of an actor's studio in the US, where they right. get an actor onto the stage and they would film it, but they'd have all of us on the stage. How is this? Did you get a like, whole bunch of freaks like us who just go, ah, question oh, all, Mainly yeah. all fans. Yeah, a lot of people from the, the, the place to home, safe place to home, were there. Um, and uh, what can I just say? I was devastated on the night because I just thought it was like a little simple interview like we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea that my fellow cast members would actually perform their interview, meaning I think it was scripted for some of them. They gave the most extraordinary performances, and I'm sitting on the side of the stage thinking, I feel so old. <laughs> like, like, Love it. Why are they just showing me up? They're so interesting and they're so funny. Man, and then, oh, was that? <laughs> I had the flu. I, oh, look, no. I look like crap. And, and I, I, it was devastating for me. Well, at I, least you I, didn't I, have to do that kind of push up. Yeah. I was made to do. Oh. Oh, I've been devastated. Well, oh, what, they're doing push ups as well? Off chair. Oh, and you bounce off back, and, and your son on the show looks good too. Oh, James, James, James. Well, they obviously they cast him because it's a resemblance. Absolutely. Good James Paul. Good James Paul. He's a great actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, with all the uh, all the, um, the hospital the, the scenes, hospital scenes or whatever, yeah. that's really full on. And it actually, you know, a lot of my friends who were watching it actually said, "I can't believe that that was that only yeah. Yeah, such a short time ago, um, yes. and that that sort of treatment was going on." Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He, found, he found it like I mean, he was virtually in the hospital bed for months. Yeah, you know, and he does feel a, a huge responsibility in that role, he does. Yes. He portrayed it, he, he, how he acted that was incredible because you, mm. you actually, be, you so believed that he was going through that. It was, it was incredible. So, Do you yeah. remember his um, love interest from season nine? So uh, didn't watch season yes. one. What do you mean you didn't watch season, season one? one. I'm, going back, I'm going to get season Listen, one now. Listen, hang on. You've got to watch what some mean? of Hay being um, yeah. with a oh. Oh. bitch for Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Are you going to tell me he's coming back? That's great. He's coming back? Did he come? That guy. Yeah, did I just say he jogs around here. I leave around here. I love it. Jenny, yeah. Well, listen, if you want to latch, if you want to latch onto a place to, to call home, if you if you haven't watched it before, the season three kicks off on uh, Sunday, September twenty seventh, eight thirty p.m. on Fox Cell. Latch onto Fox Cell if you haven't got it. I'm signing up again this week. Uh, Jenny and Brett, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you, you for coming in. For and good luck with season three. Obviously, season four around the corner. And whatever you do in the states, Jenny, good luck with that. Thank too. you. No thank you. Thank you. Bye.